This is Visuino custom code 01100110 or part 102. This is the extension off of the first part for the Visuino custom code number 101. Uh, the link is in the description for it. Uh, if you have not uh, watched part one, please do so uh, before watching this one. Things will make more sense. All right, so basically this second video is gonna do the same exact thing. It's gonna flash the little light on board and it's gonna tell you true or false. We're gonna do it differently. And I'm gonna show you why uh, doing it this way requires so much more processor time off the Arduino. Um, so basically we're gonna create a member. Now, if you think of a member, it's nothing more than a variable, an integer, character, uh, text, uh, boolean, whatever. That is what a member is. So if you wanna click on the drop down arrow and open the members uh, panel. Okay, so just to add the one boolean value for the digital one state, um, and then we're going to, from here, we're going to update the digital one input on data code. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, expand your inputs. Expand digital one, highlight on data, click on the blue box to the right with the three dots, and that will open your input parameters box. All right, now in this frame, what we've done is we've commented out the digital one dot send command. Um, and we've entered our member Boolean digital one state equals, and as you know, a value is whatever the digital input pin is reading, whether it be high, low, yes, no, on, off, zero, one, however you want to look at it. Uh, so basically what this is doing is it's setting the Boolean value of the members digital one state to whatever the A value is. Now this only updates once it changes, not constantly. So if the digital, if the uh, pulse generator goes from high to low, it's gonna update this. If it goes from low to high, it's gonna update this. And that's all it's gonna do. It's gonna do it one time for every pulse. All right, so this is a new section for you to dabble with. This is the on execute. Uh, basically, this is loop. Uh, every time that this function gets called, the on execute is going to be uh, ran. Uh, so, it doesn't matter if the uh, digital pulse changes, high to low, whatever. On execute is going to run no matter what every single system loop, and not only when it updates. That's the big difference with putting the code in the on data and on the on execute. With the on execute, it's going to update it every single time the loop comes through and it'll probably run 30 or 40 times before the digital pulse changes from true to false so you've done wasted 29 you know divided by 100 so that's uh three you've used up three to four times as much processor time just by adding it into the on execute but for shits and giggles let's go ahead and open it up and expand on execute and click on the little blue box with three dots. All right, so a quick recap, digital one dot send, uh, and then whatever is in the uh, punctuation there, that command is going to send that information in the punctuation out the digital one pin. That is all that's gonna do, digital one dot send send this information out this pin. All right, here's this episode's quick tip. Uh, in the miscellaneous, in the properties for custom code, 
next to includes and members and on execute and on init and all those there's a little plus sign you just click that little plus sign and lo and behold there's a little edit box that opens up and you can just type your code right in there hmm how about that thanks Boeing all right so now is the time you get to look at a picture and upload the code to your Arduino this picture is basically uh, what the inverse kinematics is going to be doing and that's what this custom code tutorial section is all about uh, basically it takes your requested XYZ coordinates and tells it where to put the little tiny tip of the tibia the green line the very last line there the very bottom left uh, so basically all of this formula is doing is telling the coxa femur and tibia of each of the six legs what angles they have to set themselves at to get the point of the tibia down at the target location all right so I got my handy helper Hank here holding on to the perked up Arduino and as before that light on and off and a one second pulse but now let's see what happens to the monitor when I connect. Wow. True, false, true, false, true, false, true, false, true, false, true, false. Wow. Did you see that? Let's see what's going on. If we expand this out. Look at all the falses. There's got to be, you know, all... Of these are false and then they're all true all the way up and false and true and false there's got to be 40 of them that's the difference between putting that code into the on execute and then in the on data it uses so much more time I mean it's it's incredible the amount of time that that processor is using just because of that little bit it's just incredible ding dong ding dong thank you Hank so you know as with uh, any kind of tutorial you know you learn a little you got to give and take a little bit sometimes you've got some functions that you cannot put in the on data uh, that absolutely have to be done on the on execute because you're taking maybe three or four different input pins and mudging them together inside the on execute that's what it's for don't use it for single single pin updates do that on the on data if you've got to use multiple inputs do it on the on execute uh, because that way the on execute will only update if the single components update just a little trick there uh, so enjoy like share subscribe comment or don't it's all good peace